Well, it's got fuel in it. And you kind of, you know, by tipping all that fuel over in it, I don't know, kind of destroyed the state of what the float ball was. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, because we would have been able to to see exactly the state of it when it was the last you ran it, remember, and it was giving you trouble. So now that all the fuel's out of there, it kind of destroyed our state. Now, I don't know if there's something under here. I mean, it kind of looks like there is because that, it just still, that whole top seems pretty sturdy. Ah, oh, look. A screw. Oh, yeah. Take, nope. There okay. you go. Very good. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, you do? I know about that screw. Oh, okay. Well, huh. We may not have had to go through all this. If you knew, if you took care of it before, maybe you left it in place. The carb, that is. Patience is what it takes to be a car mechanic. All right. Good job. All right, so this is the float. Right there, looks like, seems like it's working, okay. Can you keep it stable? Just hold it from moving. So that's what I thought it was stuck. So, okay, and it seems like it it works okay. So maybe it's just dirty down there. What? Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's kind of dirty down there. Where's the, uh... oh, okay. So this, see that's that valve. This goes in here. The, the other way? Goes in this way. Right here. Come on. This goes down here, like so. That will go like this and open and close that little valve. And I mean, it looks relatively clean in there. That that little plunger right here, right there. That is a power valve, I think they call it. And when everything really needs, so these are your regular jets. Yeah. And when you need a bunch more fuel, this thing supplements the regular jets, gets pressed down by that thing right there. This little spring job. So this thing is held. I guess it's held by vacuum. It's held off most of the time. Held off by vacuum. I think it's underneath that circuit there. It's kind of sticky. Yeah, so when yeah. So when you need, uh, so normally, like when you're sitting there idling, this thing will be pulled up. And then when you stomp on the gas, the vacuum goes to zero, which then the spring pushes that power valve, pushes this plunger down onto this valve there and lets more fuel in. Uh, 
have something to yeah. dump that out. And do we have a can of carburetor cleaner? Uh, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the dual purpose screw collector. Fuel uh, container. Let's see. Boom. Carb cleaner. What's it say? Oh, there you go. Carb chug. So you got to dump that out first. Of course. Oh, okay. Dump, dump. Very good. Very good idea. Mm -hmm. What's this look like? All done underneath. Well, you got it tipped over. Oh, careful of the gaskets, because I'm. You know, if we really wanted to, just put everything back together today and try it out. Okay. We want those gaskets not to be broken. All right. Oh. That one's gonna get torn. Pain. When's your carb kit coming? Saturday? No, fuck you, SPS. Oh, okay. So here, see this? Yeah. This hole right here? Mm hmm. Okay, so. Yeah. So if you wanted to ever fill the float bowl, Prior to use, pour fuel down there. Okay. You see? And it comes out that hole, which would drop right down into your float bowl. Mm -hmm. That's what I was looking for. The good old fashioned. I guess brass, float balls, I mean floats. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Good. Is it? I'm just getting the bottom end on this. Can you spray some on that edge there? Good? Yeah. And second thought, hopefully, doesn't. It's got some good paint, Eric Goldie. But I should have, uh, should have actually put it in a some kind of container pan. Three dash two six two is the model number. Yeah. It's um. Do you have a? Do you have a pan somewhere I could just dump that in? Ah, oh, here's a pan right here. Who knows where you're gonna find a pan around here? Left the car, please. Yeah, Japan. I'm gonna find it in Japan. There's a little dust. What's that from? Oops. All right. So you see, right under here is where that plunger is, and here's your your jets. I think are ones right here. I have to take it over. There they are. Yeah. 
and everything. Let's see. Let's see that again. Right. Okay, so I think the jets are right there. Right there, and the plunge is right there. So, <clears throat> when that plunger gets pushed down, it adds another way for fuel to get in to these manifolds. And each one runs up to here to the Venturis. These are Venturis. And it uses Bernoulli's principle in that. As air runs through these, runs across these, creates a low pressure right in there. And these little tubes are connected to those jets. So the fuel runs down through the jets, gets drawn up the tubes like a straw, because there's a little pressure there as the air is used. Well, the throttle. Here's the throttle. It's wide open normally. Normally it's like this, it's closed, but what the heck. Normally it's closed. Okay. So then you open up the throttle, which allows the carburetor access to the suction by this pistons going up and down, up, up, down, which then draws air over these, which draws fuel in with it, makes an air-fuel mixture. Alright. Ready, Nick? Rebuild. Okay. First thing that goes in is a float. So make sure, thing. but you want to make sure it's right. It's all good. Level. Does it look okay? Yeah. It's kind of cockeyed. Okay, it looks good. It looks good. Then what? Then this valve here goes in. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I couldn't see. This fitting. All right, your valve goes in, okay. I'm going hair in there. Yep, no hair in there. And, and that, there's a seal right here, probably at, on the replace on the carb kit. There'll be one. Just, just. It goes like that. And, uh, fuel pressure. Fuel pressure. So see, when the engine's running, fuel pressure should be up against in here and pushing that, trying to push that valve open. But then, the as, all right. So now, you know, if this is empty bowl, then the fuel pressure is pouring fuel in. The the float floats and then closes the valve off, and it just keeps that just right at the right level. Okay. The okay. Next tank goes in. Spring. Spring to hold the axle in. Yep. Okay. Then don't forget this. And then yeah. Stopper. Another stopper. That's the up stopper. Up stopper probably. Yeah. It's not that it's really doing anything. All right. All right. Hey, hey, problem. you. <laughs> Bang really that good. too much and. You knock Kip it out. Over. Oh, don't forget, hey, this thing, this plunger, is Goes called here. this plunger, yeah, and that plunger is your accelerator pump. Yep. Which, when you step on the gas, it bursts in here, presses, presses uh, fuel through some chamber underneath there to go somewhere so in there. So far off land. Oh, wait a minute, I know. I think I see it. Okay, I think it comes up out of here, out of this mm -hmm. one. Because this one, when I sprayed the carb cleaner, I think it's this one, uh, it shoots out here. All right, so if you want to hold the camera, I'll show you. So you press in here, you might see some fuel shoot out. See how it shoots out there? Yeah. That's where the accelerator, that's where the fuel from the accelerator pump comes in. Okay, we're done. Yep, there you go. And they're clean. Okay. I mean, they're open. They're not really good. 
I mean, I couldn't test this one. This one flowed out, but it didn't stream out like that one does. Yeah. Okay, so what do we got? Did I get, I got carb cleaner in there. So I can dump it out. Turn on battery saver, 15% remaining. Okay, right. better hurry up. All right, seal down this hanging off. <sighs> this thing, and you know, it's gonna break, right? It's gotta break. It has to break. Okay. Yeah. And just, you are wondering. So this is um, a Bendix Stromberg um, WWC model. And the actual model number is 3-262. Uh, if you're looking for the actual model number, it's usually stamped here, or it's stamped there. In this case, it's stamped right here. You can barely see it, but um, it will be there. You know, it's not etched in very well, but you'll be able to find it. Oh, okay. I'm trying to... Well, I was trying to align it for you. If you didn't fight me, it'd be easier. Accept assistance, Goldie, gracefully. All right. Yeah, what's holding it? It's not closing, so what's causing that? Right, it's not just dropping right in place. That gasket is a, on its last thread. So maybe these screws are not aligned? Yeah. So just, hey, take this back, put... Be gentle, okay. Let's let's get it back mounted. There. All right. Coming. I got it. Yeah. So I'm holding it closed for you, and take your screwdriver and get those center two. There. Okay. Good. Now I think those mount in the bottom over here. Oh yeah. All right. And these. Yeah. Those will go. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Those also mount in the bottom. Um, yeah. So the only ones, these ones, those two there, that one there, I think is the only, are the only ones that we can okay. use. So you All got right. it and make sure that gasket's good and supported. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Set down. Hold on. Let me get my fingers out. All right. Yeah. So I just put it back on the on top over here and see if we can get this back together and fire it back up again. Make some smoke. You can also see the idle adjustment screws right here. These two. So when the throttle is closed, this, these two screws allow an opening underneath the throttle to just bring in a little bit of fuel underneath there, fuel and air underneath there. So the engine idles, that's your idle mixture. How are we doing? And this here is your um, your um, accelerator pump link it leak the linkage leak yeah leakage All right. this marvelous contraption here Does it go in there. Wasn't that here? Oh, that's oh, this no. way. Oh, okay. Something like that. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it goes it goes in that way. And then 
Now wait a second. Yeah. Yeah, that that makes more sense there. You want to get that aligned, right? Right. Really good. So, oh, you got that little screw. Okay. So then, whatever pulls that up, I guess, to get a little more air down there. All right, let's go. Waiting. That gasket makes it. That'd be amazing. Up one and over. You missed. Oh, I got oh, okay. I gotta get something to stand up here. I can't reach. Oh. All right. Let me see. Help. So far, that gasket looking okay. It's hard to really see. Flashlight. Flashlight, flashlight. Hold on, Nick. Okay, yep, looking good. But you know, you got your tricky linkage there. That's so. You'll go through all that motion to get that thing in, and then the linkage will be all messed up. Yeah, start putting the center ones. Center ones, center ones, center ones, center ones. Just get them started so it's aligned. And then go for the back ones. Go for the back ones. Well, hold on, I don't have the other one started yet. Well, all right. Now you do. Next one. Okay. Get them all tighter than that. Cross them around. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not crossed. I'd have gone the like make an X. Yeah. And those were a little loose. Remember when I tapped on the bowl? Yeah. I thought I saw the carburetor move. <clears throat> Do you have a bigger screwdriver? Do you have more torque on those? Right. That, Yes. I don't want something. I don't know how that went. Oh, don't. What is that? Carb kit? No. There. So it's extra <clears throat> tight there and then put the fuel line on. Well oh, that's the easy part. How about all this linkage here that I'm waiting for? Oh, all this linkage crap? Oh yeah, the crap. How's it go? 
magical. Well, what did you do last? You reverse the reverse it. So whatever you did, just re go the opposite direction. There. Are. So over here. Well, that was like the first thing you did. Yeah. All right, you whatever. Reverse it. No, well, whatever. Never mind. I'm not even going to explain it. Fourteen minutes. We'll restart it because I don't want. What happens? Up all my storage. You know, it's a phone. Oh. It's not a professional camera. Okay. So, what I don't understand is what good does restarting it? Say you start in space. Does it make? <laughs> so one? fourteen plus fourteen is yeah. not twenty-eight. Huh? Just understand it, please. <laughs> okay. Being really dumb. That's making me cringe. All right. Awesome. Yeah. There. All right, I have 15. Should I restart it? Yeah, restart it. All right, we're restarting it. Boom. Oh, okay. Immediate restart. <sighs> Oh, you should probably yeah. loosen the line and tighten that, uh, tighten the valve nut. Okay. Yeah, loosen the line. Loosen the line. Okay, I'm trying now. No, there you go. Now tighten that valve nut up as much as you feel good. No, leave it there. Leave the line nut there. The valve nut, that one, the other way. No, no, you, you're right, you got it. A little more. Yeah, that's good. Crap bird. Starting. Well, you got to remember you get soft metals, you know, brass and aluminum. They'll maybe strip a lot with easy. Yeah, that should do. Back on. All right, I'm really looking forward to this crap. I hate this linkage. Looks like there was some seal here. I guess it broke. Uh oh. Well, we're in bad shape now because that'll leak. You got? Is that? I can't see. But if that's see that stuff sticking out right up against the carb between the nut and the carb. My telescopic vision is not that good. Especially in the dark. Um. Mm, yeah, well, you yeah, know, no. That's a little sliver there, right? A little sliver. What, so you think it's bad or not? I think it'll be okay. Okay, it better be okay. 5% remaining on the battery, so you better... Hurry the fuck up! Is it supposed to go like this? How's that? Oh, shit. <laughs> you took it off. Okay. Goes like that. Oh, I see his hands. On. Let's see. I can't see. We got a big hand in the way. I can't answer a question. What's going on? Mm. What's going on? I'm going to fit this on here. Well, I can't see. Because maybe, probably, I know you, and if something isn't working right, you'll just try to drive it in there and twist everything up instead of just... Why is this all nicked? I don't know. How about letting me look? Move your hand. You're you asking know, me a question, you know. but I can't see. Now tap. <sighs> No, I don't see. Now, give me information about what you're doing, 
and they'll be able to help you. All right. So let's see. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to put this tab back on there. Well, this one right here, right? Yeah. But which way does it go? Nicholas. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Get your hand out of the way. I said hold on, and he's got his stuff in the way. There. Right? Yeah, That's I one way, okay. That's one way. Uh, the other one is like deformed. It won't even fight, slide on anymore. What the fuck happened to it? it I don't know. Oops. So. There. Right. And then this what? It goes in that opposite hole. I don't know where, how, where this linkage went. You know how it went in there? And here I am, one-handed, you know. Would he come over here and help do something? Wait, let me take care of this. Well, if you don't know how to do it, Hold on. take the camera. 